Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim skill analysis. Today we're talking about two-handed. Now I want to preface this by saying I thought with one-handed and two-handed that the perks were very simple. You unlock the power attacks and you pick the weapon that you want to do more damage. That is 0% the case. Well, 50% the case. First of all, um, I was researching this because I didn't know how similar the skill tree to two-handed was to one-handed, it is almost exactly the same. So if you watch the one-handed video, this is gonna be a very similar video. Now, two-handed weapons, they do more damage than one-handed weapons, first of all. Then you can unlock different power attacks, like paralysis. Uh, I was gonna say side control for some reason, I don't know. But sideways power attacks. And you're using your two-handed weapon. So I don't like using two-handed weapons because it gets rid of the use of the shield, but they add range. So my favorite thing to do with a two-handed weapon in any video game is to put a table or a rock in between me and the enemy. So the enemy's running around, running around, and I'm hitting them, and they can't hit me. It's a great technique that I don't think anyone really thinks about, and I love it. Or maybe you're fighting, there's like a wolf in front of you and a bear behind you, and the bear can't get to you. Use the wolf as that kind of shield between you and a bear. Now, when it comes to... Uh, two-handed. It's a little bit different than one-handed. First of all, there's a perk which I think fits two-handed perfectly. Which is if you do a power attack, I believe it's sideways. It might be standing. You hit all enemies in front of you. So you just do one big whoosh and all the enemies get hurt. This is what I want the orc with a warhammer to be in Oblivion and you can make it that in Skyrim. That is the perfect skill for two-handed. I cannot think of a better skill perk to have with two-handed. I think one-handed is more stamina, which kind of makes sense for one-handed, but I think two-handed, oh man, I wish kind of one-handed had some limb-based stuff and two-handed too, but then what two-handed, um, what's very important is once you become a master, you might have seen the perk tree, hammers have different buffs than axes than swords. Hammers ignore armor, Swords do crit damage, and axes do bleed damage. So hammers are good if you got a heavily armored guy, like a hundred armor rating, ignore 75% of armor, he only gets 25 defense versus your hammer, which is doing all its, basically all its damage, right? So it's really good for heavy armor opponents. Maybe you have an opponent, you can't really gauge him yet. So you get the two-handed sword, you know it does its crit damage. And then you have the axe, which does bleed damage. Now it might seem weird at first, but when it comes to an axe, bleed damage is passive. So if you have that enemy that's just really, really, really hard to hit, or you can only get a couple hits off at a time, do use the axe. If, if it does more damage than the hammer. When the axe does more damage, you hit them, it does a little bit of bleed, so you, know, you get these extra buffs over time, and then you're not worrying about you know, oh, I have to hit him five more times. You might only have to hit him three because of the bleed damage. It's really, really nice. And I'm glad that they did this because in Oblivion, my biggest issue with it was, it was very simple. Swords are lighter, their power attacks are faster, and they do less damage. Axes and hammers do more damage. Their power attacks seem to be more effective to me. And they're heavier. Like there's hammers that weigh 60 in Oblivion. That's crazy. I think like the DJ Claymore only weighs 45. Well, the hammer I think is in the 80s. So it's really crazy. But that's really two-handed. I love that Skyrim kind of made the axe, the axe, hammer, and sword all pretty unique. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below. What do you think of this? I, like I said, I really like it. That's it for this video. I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream blog, or steam it post, or whatever I decide to make.